isolated showers around, but ignore them. Uh, generally a fine day with plenty of sunshine and only light winds. Yes. Top temperature today, 17 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Get your sandals out. Now, what do we need to do to make the NHS successful and sustainable in the future? It's a massive question, but it's one NHS leaders say the government needs to be more honest with you and me, the public, about. They've been responding to a survey commissioned by the NHS Confederation, which is holding its annual conference today. Dr Johnny Marshall is its Director of Policy. Johnny, morning. Good morning, Emma. So, what have NHS leaders said about the future of the NHS in the survey? Well, what they've said to us is they want to be part of the future. They're very positive that they can make a difference to the future. But it is quite challenging at the moment. Uh, we've got uh, an ageing, growing population. Everyone knows that finances are, are tight. Um, and although despite that we have been improving life expectancy and, and cancer survival, we recognise there are more challenges to come. And one of the key things is recognising the changing healthcare needs in our population and how important social care and healthcare funding and services need to be working together and that's a key thing we're asking the government to look closely at. And is that something that you think the government will take action on or, or is it a case of they have to otherwise the system will grind to a halt? Well, they're already taking action on it. They recognise that it's an issue. I think what we're saying is we need to have a real open dialogue with the public, explaining that times are, are, are tough, that we want to do better, and this is going to mean changing the types of care models that, that we provide, so we're really tapping into the things that matter most to most of people. I think that's the sort of open dialogue we need to be having with the public. How do, I know as a member of the general public and, and also in, in my job that I do, people don't like change. What about the NHS as an organisation? How does that cope with change? Well, you're, people don't like change, you're absolutely right. And uh, when patients have got used to particular ways of providing services, um, then they, they're, they're concerned when they change. Um, but we know that if you look at... Um, the, the workforce working with patients on a face-to-face on -face level, they know where the changes need to be made. And I think if we can provide good information to the public about the benefits that the change might bring, then we've got a much better chance mm. of delivering it for them. Does all of these changes that you think need to be made cost money, though? Because that's what we know is a big sticking point, isn't it? Well, all of, all of healthcare, I guess, costs money, and the important thing is we have a great healthcare system which, which looks after the most vulnerable as well as those who would have the ability to pay, and that's, that's the strength of our system. There will always be a limited amount of funding. What we need to do within the NHS is making sure we're delivering the very best value to the public, to patients from that funding. I think that's, that's something that we'll be talking about at the conference today and trying to galvanise the NHS behind delivering. All right, Johnny, thank you very much. Dr Johnny Marshall, Director of Policy at the NHS Confederation. Everything you need to know, every 15 minutes. Breakfast with Emma Britton. BBC Somerset. I don't know about you, but things like that always think, oh, it's a bit above my head. I just want to be able to see my GP when I want to and know that someone will look after me when I'm poorly and when I get old. But that's an ideal world, isn't it? Right, you're listening to Breakfast with me, Emma Britton. Let me tell you about Friday's very special day here on BBC Somerset. It's BBC Music Day. Between three and four on Friday afternoon, we've got a fantastic live performance by the British Para Orchestra conducted by... Oh, he's on my list of my most favourite men in Somerset. Charles Hazelwood, internationally renowned conductor who lives here in the county. So the British Parrot Orchestra are going to be performing four original pieces along...